Sardik Jew. And if anybody knows her here, just please give her my love. Because I know that it is really hard to listen to these things, especially first time. Maybe that was first time. Uh, but there is these stages, you know, denial is very common. And then comes the little awakening and anger and confusion. And then you start looking at yourself and then you finally see reality is that way. And what, what's at the end left for us? Sure. That's the, it always comes down to him, you know? This is what I found out. It's all about him. It's not even about Jews. It's not about you and me. It's all about Yeshua. He's the only answer to all of that. And what I want entire Israeli population to do is come out of the cult of Talmud and come to the light of Yeshua. And this is why I am talking about it's not easy for me because if you lived among Jews as I did and with a Jew, you would know that Jews are a big, huge family. It's a club. I'm not kidding you. It's, it, it's a club. And then you don't talk bad about the Jews, no matter how bad they do. Because there are brothers and sisters, it's our blood. Oh, once a Jew, always a Jew, it's a club. And we were in a club. But we also had a show our heart, and we have a love for the Gentiles, because there are brothers and sisters in Christ. And we want to tell them the truth, because there is a danger. There is a huge danger luring out there to get you. And you will be so surprised one day that so many Christians have signed their own death certificates. Because many Jewish people, there is only a remnant that will wake up to Yeshua. The rest of them are a really enemy of the gospel. And they are the enemy of Christ and Yeshua have dealt with that 2,000 years ago, and he warned us. What did he say? As they hated me, they shall hate you also. They will take you where? To the synagogues. Can you take that literally? Please take it literally. They will take you to synagogues, and they will hate you and kill you for my name. And this is what's coming. And I have to say this, I wanted so much to show you so many other things, and there is no way I can. Um, we would have to have just a conference, one dedicated just to this subject, and we would talk maybe full morning and then a full afternoon, about eight hours, where I could explain to you everything fully with all proofs because I have proofs from Israel what they are preparing. And I'm going to call this a Talmud reign. They're preparing the Talmud reign. The religion of the New World Order is the Talmud. It's the Noahide laws for the nations. They are internationalizing them. And Sanhedrin is asking for the power. They, they want to replace the United Nations. They are going to have international Sanhedrin court. The, the rabbis are in workings with the government officials of all countries. And they are preparing this court, international court, and they are using prophecies from Tanakh that the law, Isaiah, you know, law shall come out of Jerusalem. The law shall come out of Jerusalem. Well, what law? <laughs> we know that that will happen when Yeshua returns and his law, right? Yes. But now they're applying it to themselves. And this is what they're saying, that law shall come out of Jerusalem. This is going to be fulfillment of prophecy. And um, they're preparing 
Sanhedrin International Court. And as we are speaking, they are training Noahide judges. And these Noahide judges are Gentiles who agree to Noahide laws. And in their eyes, they're called righteous Gentiles. And they go and travel to Jerusalem to be trained professionally to be Noahide judges. Now there are Noahide houses being set up, especially in Bible Belt region of United States. And they're popping up everywhere. So this is in a background you have not been paying attention. And I don't blame you because by God's grace, I have got to this information and I grabbed the information and I started researching and the more I did, the less sleep I got. Yeah. And it really bothered me to the depths of my soul. And then I went to my husband and I said, what are we gonna do with this? And he says, we're going to go and tell the people. We will tell them what's happening. And because it's out there, but you just don't read, it's on international news, it's on Israeli news, it's on all Israeli outlets. It's open. I mean, these rabbis are talking about this. But nobody brought your attention to this, so I hope I, I do, because you're going to be fighting this very soon. I don't know when it's going to become official, but everything is prepared, even in our United States laws. So this is my love for you as a Gentile. How many are Jews here? Oh, you are all considering yourself Gentiles. OK, you know, it don't matter. We are all one in Christ. I, I wish that this Jew and Gentile went away already. Because in Yeshua, we are all one. And now let us paint a picture, and I'm going to start this, this is going to be short anyway, but let us paint a tree right now. There is the root. Who is the root of a tree? Yes. It's Yeshua, and he feeds the tree. So here we go, we have a tree, and out of the tree comes the branches. Now, I'm going to put nails on these branches, and you help me. Here, Noah, okay, Enoch, Moses, Joshua, anybody else? Abraham. Keep reading the names. Abraham, Joseph, how about some women, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Hilda, Abigail, Sarah. Esther. Okay, now all these people, did, did they see Yeshua? But what did they do? They believed on the promise. They already beheld him, you know, because they believed on the promised seed. But now the promised seed came, so let's get putting the branches on. Okay? Peter. John, it's Judas, what happened to Judas? You're going to cut off the branch and throw it away? But what we do with cut off branches, we're going to go take out a Gentiles and put it on the same tree, craft it in. And now we're building a tree and now we have Teresa, what's your name? Michael, Michael Yana, <laughs> Steve. Let's do you understand? Now, did I ever replace a tree? Was this tree replaced? No. I never did replacement theology. Somebody told me, you're replacement theology. I was like, what? I never, I'm not replacing nothing. Do you understand oneness in Yeshua? That tree is never being replaced by anything. It's the same root, feeds it, and the branches are depending on whether you want to be on a tree with the root that feeds you. That's Yeshua. And whether you are a Jew or a Gentile, I don't care who you are. You've got to be on that tree. That root is Christ. I have not replaced that tree. So this is who Israel of God really truly is. You understand? So 
I just want you to understand it this way. So when somebody tells you God's chosen, God's chosen is everyone who believes on the Son. Okay? All right. But now I have to talk about 5G because I promised I will. I am not a technological expert. I'm far from it. You know how I need somebody else to help me here. So come on. <laughs> so um, all I am doing this for is to have an awareness, to make you aware and maybe do your own research. And what I like to do is um, interview the experts because I am in a process of learning and I want to tell you what I know. And some of you here know more than I know. So perfect, you can talk to me, give me pointers, because I'm only researching. And the reason we talk about it is that the body of Christ can be aware, and then we can spread awareness and keep researching and learning about this. This is completely new for everybody. Buzzards know where that is. I did make that picture. It's a cell tower. Um, near our place where we live. And did you notice there's always these buzzards on that? And nothing happens to them? Like, they're saying that these are these frequencies there, right? That humans shouldn't go close. But buzzards are always sitting there and they're still living. I don't get it. I don't understand. But anyway, they know where the death is. Okay, silent war on humanity, 5G rollout, and what it means for you and me. I want to start with Matthew 24, 22, Mark 13, 20, where Yeshua says, And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And a similar verse in Mark 13, 20, repeat it. Now, it replaced this, the word flesh with the word homo sapiens sapiens because flesh is us humanity. So, and except those days should be shortened, there should no homo sapiens be saved. <laughs> okay. Will there be humanity as we know it today if it continued that way? I really don't think so. You know why? Because they're merging us with the machines. You know, AI and transhumanism. I have given talk in Atlanta about this a year before 2016 and I did pretty deep research into AI and transhumanism and it's horrifying what's happening. They are truly changing our species. They're changing homo sapiens sapiens into something they call human 2.0. Wow. I mean it's once you start looking into this your brain stops. That's when I say I'm going to Starbucks coffee. <laughs> just to feel I'm among humans and I'm just not even, you know? I worry about my children and your children and their children if they will even be able to have any. Because you will see the 5G effects on fertility. It's, it's terrifying. So, defining 5G, what it is, what they tell you that it is. They say that it's a marketing term for a new mobile technology or fourth industrial revolution. And if you go through history, you had first, second, third industrial revolution. Each one brought us to a higher level. So they're calling this fourth industrial revolution. Now they tell you it's needed because bandwidth used now, which is 4G, is saturated. People always want more, so they are promising us to deliver more soon, but more at what cost, of course. Um, the worldwide launch of this is expected in 2020, which is next year. They're saying that it should be already everywhere, but the many testings of 5G are being conducted already now in cities in the United States, Europe, and then other states like China, for example. More of what? What are they going to bring us? Well, they are saying it's going to be super, five, super fast speed, 10 to 100 times faster than 4G. Download speed up to 10 gigabits per second, or 30 to 300 uh, gigahertz, or billions of cycles per second. Internet of Things and Cloud Computing. 
you know, I'm not good at this. I know there is an IT guy right here who is so technologically savvy, he could probably do a better speech than I do. I just want to m make you aware of these things. Um, you will be able to connect your things, I mean, connect yourself to everything in your home. Like, let's say you, you will be able to talk to your blinds, open, close, or you come home and the system detects you are home so your thermostat turns on without you doing it. I mean, do, do you really need this? I mean, I'd rather turn my own thermostat on. Come on, what's that for? And this is how they are selling this. Did you hear about Alexa? Yeah. Okay, the smart homes, and everything is smart today. Yeah, so this is what they're doing, and people, people got addicted to this. And in fact, I have learned that all these 2G, 3G, 4G, that we had, these, these were stages. Each one was more powerful, more deadly to the human beings and biology around us. But they kind of released it slowly. The FCC released it slowly because they wanted you addicted. And we did get addicted. Like, I couldn't get on Wi-Fi to prepare a few things I wanted. And I get angry, right? I need Wi-Fi. I, uh, do you have Wi-Fi? I mean, I need Wi-Fi. So I'm not saying you are addicted. I'm addicted, too. I mean, we, we are. We are heard to them. They, they, they work with our psychology. They know our psychology, how we are how we get addicted to things, and this is exactly how they did this. They knew they are going to slowly increase the frequencies on us until it becomes full-blooded weapon. You understand? And 5G is just that. It's, it's a weapon. And um, whoever disagrees needs to do more research and talk to more uh, experts. So, oh, I don't know what that is. Let's see. <laughs> You will have stunning capabilities that will blow your mind. You will download Ultra HD or 3D video in seconds. 4G downloads HD movie in one hour. Um, so that will be a speed that you will like. The self-driving vehicles will be powered by 5G. Traditional automakers like Toyota, Ford are being joined by tech companies like Google and Apple. And it is predicted that car accidents will drop by 80% by 2040. Now imagine the savings for insurance companies. Now I have interviewed Senator Kolbeck. Did anybody see that interview? Yes. On INL, okay. Well, he had a recently in a city where he lives, he organized a conference and he brought a lot of experts and he brought controversial experts, those that protect the 5G and say it's a great thing and then those who are against it. So that way, if you listen to both sides, you can make up your own mind, right? So one of the defects was that look, they are saving lives with 5G because how many people die in car accidents per year? A lot of people in America. I don't know exact statistics on that, but I know it's thousands. So if we have self-driving vehicles powered by AI, cloud computing, they are so good that there will be practically zero accidents, right? So how many people we can save? Right, now good selling point, but at what cost again at our biology, so we have to kind of decide what we prefer here. So, self-driving cars will be powered by 5G, AI, and so-called cloud computing. And I kind of found something online inside of a self-driving car, and I thought it's very nice, because you see no driver, you can all face each other, and you know how you cannot drink and drive. And then some people like their glass of wine on eight hour drive. I don't do that no more. I don't drink at all. But I mean, I used to drink glass of wine here and there, but I just don't do that no more. And um, I think it would be really nice to just chat and face each other, have a glass of wine and, and just program where you wanna go and AI takes you. 
So this is kind of nice, right? But at what cost? Eastern Europe is a testing ground for 5G technology. BMW is spending 100 million euros on self-driving car test track in Sokolov, Czech Republic. So they are doing this already there. They are giving out boxes to people, to houses, and they say this is a testing of a new technology. They don't call it 5G. They call it like WTTX and MIMO, or MIMO technology, which is basically 5G. People take it to a house, and next thing you see, this is what's on their body. <laughs> Rash. Okay, and then weird stuff happens. So, uh, let's keep going on this. Who is excited about 5G? Mr. Trump is very excited because he wants to make America great again. And a fourth industrial revolution is the 5G that is a future of economy and economic drive. Everybody right now is looking into how to make money with 5G and how to invest in a 5G to be the first ones to get the money. And then also the other side is dangerous. Everybody claims, oh, I have this little gadget, it will protect you from 5G. It costs $3,000. All right, so now both sides are preparing the defense side and a side that is rolling out 5G to gain a lot of money from the people who are either want the 5G or they try to protect themselves from it. Now, who to trust? I have no idea. Do I trust these gadgets? I don't know. So, I'm kind of calling all smart people who believe in Yeshua if you can help me with researching and with finding out what we can actually do to protect our families. I didn't come with many solutions. <laughs> I just came with awareness. Now, I cannot blame Trump that much as I would like to right now <laughs> because it's a global thing, okay? In fact, the part of our trade wars with China is the 5G technology, who is going to have it first out there? Because, look, if he didn't do it in the United States, the one side of 5G is surveillance, okay? And who has the 5G can really surveil another country very well. So, he has a very difficult position in this, because other countries are getting it, like Russia, China, so if he didn't get us into it, national security could be affected. And I don't like to say word national security because everything bad is in the name of national security. Like our rights are taken away in the name of national security. Okay, so, but that is a threat. So I cannot like fully blame Trump, but yes, he's excited about it. He signed an executive order to boost broadband internet development in rural USA. It will bring internet to hard-reaching areas like 5G, and his infrastructure proposal is $50 billion in funding for rural areas alone. Now, these are his words. He said this in Tennessee when he was signing this bill in front of 5,000 people. He said those towers are going to go up and you are going to have great, great broadband. So. I mean, he doesn't really have a choice, I guess. And he has his advisors. And then remember that President Trump doesn't have power that you think he has. Because our country is a corporation. It's ran by corporations. He's a president of the corporation, actually. <laughs> you know, only corporations have presidents and vice presidents. Countries don't. Countries have kings <laughs> and queens. But, um, yeah, the other corporation, and then you have these big corporations like Big Pharma, and, you know, they're all corporate, and they have a lot of power over Trump. I mean, he cannot dictate them that much. So, make America great again, but at what cost, right? While we are distracted with arguments between right and the left political parties, the real agenda of New World Order just goes. 
it keeps going. You are distracted, you argue and hate each other, you divide, but then the real agenda keeps just going on and on while you are so distracted. So internet of things, AI, smart dust, smart cities, nanobots, implantable technology, massive surveillance technology, bioengineering, none of these are the things that either president, pre, or you know, no president warned you about this. Now, and it does not matter who wins the elections, none of the elect presidents would ever warn you about these things. So when you were entertained with election practices in USA, did you notice how neither Trump nor Hillary Clinton spoke of UN Agenda 2030? Does anybody brought it up? They didn't talk about that. Did they say transhumanism? We are merging people to machines? No. They didn't talk about that. Did they mention AI? The only person that mentioned AI was Putin. Now Putin said one thing. Whoever owns AI shall rule the world. So now they are arguing about who will be first. So this is what's going on. Globalist plan continues. So it's not about what they tell us, it's what they don't tell us. Okay, it's the real agenda for human enslavement. Now the truth is about 5G, it's a beast system that will bring us eventually close to the final mark of the beast. And 5G is not compatible with human biology and with created nature. In the meantime, it is a weapon for a pre-planned depopulation and it is a massive surveillance tool that will make it a lot easier to spy on every American, but every human globally. This is not an American issue. This is a global issue. We are all in it together. We might build walls, but as a humanity, we are all in deep trouble. Yeah. Wireless companies are pushing legislation at the state level to expedite deployment of 5G. This legislation would block your rights and the right of your local government to control installation of cellular antennas on utility poles every 10 to 15 houses on your street. One day you're going to wake up, it will be right in front of your house on a pole, and you can do nothing about it. And you try to take it down, you'll go to jail. This is what they're preparing. These kind of things are being signed right now. These are antennas are going to expose population to so-called millimeter wave radiation. That's the name of it, millimeter wave radiation. That's the 5G. Millimeter wave can transmit large amount of data over short distances and transmission can be directed into narrow beam. So basically it's a weapon and it is used by military today. It's a mill millimeter wave technology, it's a silent weapon used in military. So we are being weaponized. And they can decrease or increase frequencies. It's that, let's say they don't like you for some reason. Like you, yeah, they can literally raise a frequency in your house without you knowing it to kill you. This is the problem. So we are in trouble. Millimeter wave technology in military, they call it pain without injury. This is how they control uh, protesters, for example, okay? Now, why they, they say it's the active denial system, it's real. It, there are videos of army talking about this. Look it up. Active denial system. It, it says it deters attackers by sending non-lethal millimeter wave of electromagnetic energy causing burning sensation. They call it non-lethal because what is called non-lethal in military, what doesn't kill you right away? That because you didn't drop dead, it's non-lethal. However, what caused you as a side effect, that don't matter. It reminds me of chemotherapy, <laughs> you know? So, 
basically, uh, it is a weapon used now. They can lower or raise frequencies as they want, and they can directed on a person and it's a sensation like you are on a fire so you try to get away from it. It's extremely potent. Now, millimeter wave weapons are used in airports right now. When you fly and you have to go through these scanners and do like that, this is a millimeter wave technology. So you're entering into microwave for a few seconds. Now when you do it once, okay, <laughs> you do it once, Somebody like me and my husband who fly all the time to, to speeches and meet people um, and preach, or we, have to, we would have to do it all the time, and I believe we would have major consequences, so we always act out. And it causes, you know, strange looks and delays, and I don't know what else, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I never went through that one time yet. That's because I always say, opt out. That's my right, and I take what's my right so far. Once they take that away, I don't know what I will do. No more flying. No more flying. Well, I will be driving to Portland, Oregon, from Florida how many days? <laughs> so, it's all we have. I don't know, but I always opt out, and I encourage you to opt out because even when you go in there, no way, you're going into microwave, you know, your eyes are affected very badly. So, while government says that they are safe and then TSA forces you to go through them, the reality is a little bit different. On the truth about cancer, they say this about these uh, <coughs> scanners. Millimeter wave body scanners in airports heat your body at the cellular level the same way a microwave oven heats up a bowl of soup. A World Health Organization reports, reveals, the waves not only heat the skin, but can also damage eyesight and cause cancer, especially skin cancer. So maybe if you did it once, don't be here panicking, you know, if you don't often fly and you are in the machine, okay. But if you do it all the time, all the time, then I better advise you to opt out. Millimeter waves are absorbed in the surface layers of the cornea, so they are extremely bad for our eyes. I wrote a few uh, functions of the cornea, like reaction to uh, uh, retraction of light, transparency. I cannot see very well, see? So maybe read it if you can, but who knows Deborah Tavares? I do. You do, yeah. Anybody else? Okay, not many, not many of you. Okay, why don't you get familiar with this lady? And I don't think she's a believer. Doesn't even, she's not. She's not a believer in Yeshua, so, but I don't want to throw away her research because her research is valuable for you. Uh, she has many government documents and she's a researcher, so she goes through these documents extremely deeply and then she brings them out to the public. So I take a lot of information from her and in fact, I want to interview her myself. But this is what she said about this, and I don't know if you will be able to hear it. Is a tech here? What is her name? Deborah, Deborah Tavares. So Stopthecrime.net. Stop the Stopthecrime.net, yes. Now, I, I don't know, is, um, where is Bonnie's husband? Right here. Bonnie Harvey. Oh, can you try to help me with this? The, I need to kind of, I don't know if there will be audio. Or there won't be audio. Maybe if I put a microphone on it. Go back. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's al almost there. Almost. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Did you hear that? Yes. That's only very small excerpt, so let me try this again. I will tell them what it says. It's okay. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Uh, All right. She had a document from World War II where people were saying they were using this technology back then. This is why I'm telling you, they know what they're going to come up with. They, they, that's only they conditioned us as a herd to get us addicted first through two, two, three, four G. You know, we got so addicted. Now we are at the point that we are like, do you know how people stand on Black Friday in Apple store and everybody wants these new gadgets and everything? This is, this is sad because everybody's so addicted, so they got us so addicted. But they already knew about this technology a long time ago. And she says that these people were saying on this document that 5G, this weapon, has cooked their eyes like eggs. Yeah. So please listen to Deborah Tavares. There is her name you can see, right? Because she has amazing information, far deeper than what I can give you here right now. It's important to understand what the 5G is doing and what they are doing. We're told on the IEEE beam forming document that this technology cooked your eyes like eggs in World War II. Cooked your eyes like eggs. Okay. Millimeter wave penetrates through human skin and sweat ducts become antennas through which we absorb the frequency. This is a human skin on a picture. And consider findings of Israeli scientist Dr. Ben Ishai. And I'll be just reading it through. The 5G frequencies will zap us with wavelength that will interact with geometrical structure of our skin. Is there a health implication? In 2008, we found that sweat ducts work like helical antennas. The sweat ducts was an internal, integral part of the mechanism for the absorption of energy, electromagnetic, between 75 and 100 gigahertz. And that if you change that character of the sweat, sweat duct, made it work, you could actually change that absorption at some point and if you could do that, you could trace how person is under stress. Now the whole point is that our sweat ducts work as antennas and we are energetic beings. We literally vibrate at some frequencies ourselves and to influence us energetically is going to show changes in our physical bodies. First of all, we have vitamin D receptors throughout our skin. And those receptors are going to be affected by 5G. So when you go outside on the sun, you absorb vitamin D inside of your body. It's in fact, it's the best vitamin D you can get. So when, when you have a sun, please go outside and expose your skin to the sun because it's extremely healthy. Of course, don't stay long hours, but at least 20, 30 minutes a day you should for that vitamin D. Now, when these receptors, though, will be affected when you're living in a microwave, and I'm telling you, we're going to live in a microwave, because if those things are on every 10th uh, pole in your street or box in your house, 
and you can, and in a store and a school and everywhere you go then you're gonna literally live in a microwave 24 7. it's going to affect those vitamin d receptors you won't be able to absorb vitamin D, and there will be a major vitamin D deficiencies. In fact, when I looked at side effects of 5G and side effects of vitamin D deficiency, they're the same. Negative effects of 5G radiation for thousands of scientific studies include oxidative damage, it will result in quick aging and being prone to disease, skin damage, damage of vitamin D receptors, melanoma, skin cancer, skin pain, pain there's pain of skin, DNA single and double strand damage, disruption of brain glucose metabolism, memory problems, Alzheimer's at early age, melatonin reduction, which will you know, be a sleep disturbances, insomnia. We have a pineal gland, like they're sometimes called the third eye because it has a similar structure of our real eyes and it secretes melatonin and kind of directs your circadian rhythm. So when you have this disrupted, you can't sleep. Increased blood-brain barrier permeability, so that will bring neurotoxicity and metals will be able to get to your brain. More negative effects of 5G millimeter wave technology on human body. 5G affects the health of hearts. It will impact heart rate. According to one Russian study, frequency between 53 and 78 gigahertz, which is 5G frequency, negatively affected heart rate in rats. It caused arrhythmias. Damage to immune system, more prone to infection of all kinds while 5G radiation also causes bacterial resistance to antibiotics. Cancer in 2011, uh, World Health Organization classified radiofrequency radiation as a 2B carcinogen. Now they already know it's a carcinogen. Just 4G, 3G. You understand? Two, the, the, the World Health Organization has it as a 2B carcinogen and they are increasing it and giving it to our houses and on every 10th pole. <coughs> so they're knowingly doing this. We don't put carcinogens around people. More negative effects are ADHD, effect on the reproductive system, especially on boys. It will it affect their sperm, so fertility. 4G operates on 4.2 gigahertz, same as microwave, already, already, 4G. If you have a Wi-Fi in the house, you should definitely turn it off at least at night, have it on a timer. Let's say that you are online between 4 and 6 p.m. This is when you turn it down, the rest of the time, turn it all off. That's very important. Otherwise, you are in a microwave or have a hard wiring done in your house. Hard wiring brings really good speed, very good speed. So you don't really need a Wi-Fi. They only make you think you need it, okay? So 4G operates at 4.2 gigahertz, same as microwave, and that is the frequency where molecules of water start to rotate on their axis when subjected to this. So we are already affecting water in our body. You know, we are 70% of water. Yes. Children have even higher amount of water in their bodies than us. So children are affected. So what happens if we raise frequency of 5G, which is gonna be called not Wi-Fi, by Y-Gig, that's what they're renaming it. And let's say we raised it to 60 gigahertz, which is a 5G. Remember between 10 and 300, and they can go up and down as they wish? Let's raise it to 60. Now this here, I have to give a credit to a person called Joe Imbriano. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Okay, it's Fullerton Report. And who knows him? Okay, I want you, all of you watching. Now, he's not believing. Is he believing in Yes, he is. He is. Sorry, maybe he is. I mean, I'm just watching what he, because he's a scientist. He has a degree in chemistry and biology. So he's not just some kind of Joe talking, you know. He's, he's a real scientist. And I think he, he said he was in a stage of denial and an anger. <laughs> I think right now he's at anger slash activism because he uses some words I don't like to use in public, but in private, <laughs> you know. He gets, he gets passionate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like people like this because they're the ones who make us aware and they get things done. And he's an activist and he actually really does something about it in his community. He goes out there to people that matter, and he really tries to do something about it. Yeah? So I like him a lot. And this is all his research. Okay? He says 5G effect on oxygen molecule. He says 60 gigahertz is the oxygen molecule absorption spectrum. At this particular frequency, our oxygen molecules are being affected. Oxygen is brought to your cells by hemoglobin in your blood. It binds to iron. By the way, this is why hemoglobin is, like I, your, your blood is red, because hemoglobin binds to iron. In plants, chlorophyll binds to magnesium, so it's green. But whatever is chlorophyll in, in plants, it's like a plant blood. <laughs> this is why drinking chlorophyll is really good for your blood. It cleans the blood, it heals anemia, it's really good stuff. So you should really load up on as much chlorophyll as you can. Okay, but anyway, I just sidetracked here. Oxygen is brought to your cells by a hemoglobin in your blood. It binds to iron and iron is magnetic. Now, he brought up study field of magnetic biology. Now, they don't teach you this in school when you are studying biology very much um, because there is something like secret scientists that work for government, you know. There is secret science as well. So 5G disrupts oxygen molecules so that they cannot bind to hemoglobin, okay? And therefore, the hemoglobin won't have oxygen to take to your cells. You may have the best air outside, go to the Rocky Mountains on a town and try to breathe, but your body loses ability, your hemoglobin will not bind to oxygen. Therefore, hemoglobin cannot take oxygen to your cells and organs. So you will be oxygen deprived, no matter how much oxygen you breathe in. So this is what 5G will do to us. What kind of diseases are there when you cannot oxygenate your heart and brain? Well, brain, yeah, you're going to be having Alzheimer's, memory problems, heart, heart problems, arrhythmias, and so on. So do you understand? So this is what he is telling people with his chemistry biology degree, making you aware. So I really encourage you to listen to these people, okay? What worries me a lot is this. Bees. 5G will have effect on bees, insects, animals, plants, trees, and water. Consider this fact. Bees also have electrical scents. Bees are positively charged and flowers are negatively charged. These charges help pollen stick to bees' hair while they pollinate. In 2012, biologist Dominic Clark and his colleagues showed that bees use their electrical sense to determine whether or not a flower has recently been visited by another bee and is therefore worth visiting. In bees, birds, and mankind, effects of wireless communication technologies Kentrum 2009, it's a book. German scientist Ulrich Warnke states, bees and other insects, just as birds, 
use the Earth's magnetic field and high frequency electromagnetic energy such as light. They accomplish orientation and navigation by means of free radicals as well as simultaneously reacting magnetite conglomerate, technically produced electromagnetic oscillations in a megahertz range and magnetic impulses in a low frequency range, persistently disturb the natural orientation and navigation mechanism. So what did I just tell you? I told you we're going to have a confused birds. <laughs> and bees will be, they're already confused. 5G is going to increase it. And then bees are already dying. And they're going to be dying. Yeah. So what happens when bees die? Mm -hmm. What does it remind you of from the Bible? Famine? Yes. Which horse of apocalypse? Mm. It reminds you, right? There is no food. Right? If they can do this, kill bees, we won't have food for long, much longer. So this is a very important issue that you should get do. You should try to do something about it. Okay, I'm making you aware. What I said, my next step, I'm going to my community door to door. I don't know if you know this, I used to be Jehovah's Witness. My mother brought me into it when I was small. And I had experience of knocking on people's doors. <laughs> on Saturday morning when they hated the most. <laughs> With a straight face, smiling, and saying, good morning. Can I talk to you about the future with a Watchtower magazine in my hand? <laughs> okay. I came out of that call and I found Yeshua here in America, United States. And I want to be on a proud apostate. Yeah. I love being an apostate to Watchtower. <laughs> they are a cult. But they taught me one thing. Knock on people's doors. <laughs> and I'm going to do that because I'm going to deliver a 5G message to everyone in my community because I want my community to get together and do what we can to refuse to put it on our street. So, I know how. I will do what I can. If anybody has more ideas, more solutions, you're welcome. I'm learning just like you. You might be looking at me because I have a microphone that I'm some kind of expert. No. I'm just making you aware of my research and I want body of Christ aware and I want all the smart people to come together. Okay. So is the 5G, did the 5G uh, affect all frequencies? Can they use it to affect uh, the frequency like in your personal home? Like yes, that's what I say, it's a weapon. Everything's a frequency. Everything yes, they can, frequency. that's what I say, what if government doesn't like you? I'm saying it might be the, what if they don't like you and they decide to increase it in your house yes. to a certain frequency that, uh, okay, I was say, saying the frequency of 60 gigahertz affects oxygen. How about frequency of 250? I mean, the 5G goes up to 300. What happens then? I mean, I need chemists here. I need biologists. I need people who know these things. Because we need to research this. I'm not done with my research. I'm only making you aware. And you might know more things than I do. So tell me. See, our creator had this prepared for us to live. Clean water, clean air, green beautiful trees that give us oxygen, okay? Living in a symbiosis with the nature. This is what we earthly flesh are needing. Clean environment. And they are taking it away from us. And I'm going to end with this verse because that's basically the only hope for man is the last sentence here and for destroying the destroyers 
of the earth. Somebody is planning on destroying people who are destroying our earth. And that somebody is Yeshua. Let's read it together. The nations raged by your wrath came and the time for the dead to be judged and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and the saints and those who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. Yes, amen. All right, well, thank you very much. Was I over time? No? Uh, you, you want to go longer? No, we have, no, 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 I don't. It's 12.07, we eat at 12.30, okay? I have a question, Yona, and, and, and let's not, let, let, you know, if we ask a question, let's make sure we have the mic. Because while we're talking up there, the people back there are frustrated. Wait, wait, we're, we're here too, what's going on? Okay, uh, is this technology necessary to, um, for them to establish the uh, cause to make an image in their home that comes alive and, and uh, would you address that just for a second? Well, I, I really believe this is the basis for what, you know, they're already speaking about 6G, did you know? 6G. 6G. Next generation. After 5G. So what's out? I mean, I really believe it's coming to the mark of the beast. AI. AI. Destroying human species, merging them with the machine. So I really believe that that's the step. You know? Yeah, next, next promise will be you can live forever, you shall never die. And it's already out there. So once you start researching all this, your mind will be blown. Yes, I do believe, Bonnie, that it is going that route, definitely. Okay, the way I see it, and you can comment on this, yeah. Yana, the uh, only safety we have is our armor. Amen. And be careful because the breastplate of righteousness is our righteousness. Our rightness with the Lord is not His. So, and the helmet of salvation. Uh, you know, this, this will protect our body. Do you want to comment on that, Yana? Yeah. Now, I forgot to tell you something, and then I will comment on what Bonnie said. But um, you know there are exemptions to 5G. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Not like the vaccines. <laughs> yeah. I said I can always get an exemption for a vaccine, but I cannot get an exemption for a 5G. But there are people that are exempting themselves, and these are the politicians. Oh. Of course they are. Yeah. Where they live, they're not putting 5G. Uh, Mar a Lago, for example, in Florida, where the Trump is big place, okay, where they have these be beautiful big parties and weddings and of the elites. Guys, they are exempted from 5G on basis of aesthetics. So you, you have to get mad right now. Okay, they know what it causes. But yes, what will help us is Holy Spirit in us. We are more powerful than them. You have to allow Yeshua to move inside just like as he said that he and his father is going to move inside and dine with you do you know that verse when he says he will dine with you yes you need to dine with him you need to be with him constantly have him inside of your heart receive the Holy Spirit within you and you will have the power to resist it Okay, and constantly speak positive words and speak your protection around you and your house. Because the worship of Him releases also energy. It does. It releases powerful energy. The more you worship Him, start singing to Him and worship Him. So this negative energy can leave you. Because at the end, all we have is Him. That's what I told you yesterday. That all it comes down to is that we have Yeshua. And only in Him is our hope. Yeah. So, thank you.